So, hi everybody and welcome back to Sunroll Engine 5 tutorial series for beginners and we do basics and we continue and this is video number 10. And I want to hear in this video some fixes. What we fix here is, let me show you, when I start here, our game, we have here a problem. When I press a click here in the scene, my mouse disappears and we are going to fix that. So the first thing, how we can fix it, what we want is when I press play that my mouse is not disappearing and I can click here, start or quit. That is our goal and how we achieve that. First of all, we need a little bit coding and where we are going to code, we go to our game mode, find it here. I set in world settings here on top, I set my game mode and I click here, double click it and it opens up. So. Here in game mode, we go to our event graph. Here is our coding section. And we already coded here a little bit. Uh, it started with event play. And here we created a widget. We added to the viewport. Let's write here a comment as well before we go on, because this is the first block. What happens? How to write we uh, comment? We select both here and then press C on our keyboard. Then a comment section comes and I just write adding, no, uh, yes, adding widget to screen, something like that. It must be not accurate. The next thing what we can do here on the right side, there are some uh, options. Interesting is probably this color. Why is this interesting? Because depends on the color you can make here settings and define the color what they are. But in our case, I just go down and click OK. And this one is my default color. All is fine. Uh, for example, later something you want change or so on. You can go for red, blue, whatever you like. But this I use just as a basic color and say this is all fine. So uh, let me repeat real fast what, the, uh, what this is again. First of all, when I press play, then this game mode is created here because we set it here on top. This is the first thing what loads up. Then event begin play is triggered. And this white line says now I will all do or also I will all execute the nodes which I find on my way away. So what it does is it creates the main menu, then our viewport. And after that, we want that it goes on and not stops there. And how we do that, just easy, we drag and drop here out here, uh, we pull out here this white line and write. Now we want that the mouse cursor should not disappear. And there is so a lock method. But the problem is when I go here and write uh, uh, show or UI or input mode, input mode, what was it? UI only, there is it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I thought it's not here, but it is here. <laughs> nice. Okay, this worked anyhow. And what we search is this three options and it says set input mode UI only or set input mode game only and so on. Read this free, the tooltips or the documentation the, or the UF5 documentation, what they are, but in general it means just uh, use the mouse for, uh, use the mouse there and lock it so we can use. In our case, we want set it mouse UI only. And I was a little bit confused that it is here because uh, I thought we need that a player controller this one because normally. The second option uh, you had to select first and then from this one, let me show you what I mean. Get player controller. We need this player controller. This player controller node is the character's player controller. Later, what we use. And by default, it is zero. We just use it. So this is a very old time use node. Just remember this node. If you want your players, uh, controller just write player controller and the index is all time zero this is the first one but of course when you make a multiplayer game or something like that careful then you have changed this accordingly then normally 
I would go from here out and then write uh, show mouse or no, that we'll do later. <laughs> and then we go here and write input, input, and then cursor, what we wrote there, input mode, right? And then this puts, uh, this comes up and then we choose here normally, but here works too, that's nice. And then UI only in our case, and this one is then set up. But if this works here too, then you just get the player, control the node and connect it here because this one is needed because it is asking which player controller shot, uh, which mouse in our case, the mouse of this player should be locked to the user interface in front here. So that's that. Then we have here down options. Uh, you can read what they are. And I say here, lo uh, lock always. Lock always means here, let's see, read the tools. I always lock the mouse cursor to the viewport because that is that what we want at start, right? It's a main menu. I don't want play here around in background, anything like that. I want just click here, start, quit or other options which are on my widget. That's done. But we have still a problem. Let me compile, save and show you that. When I press play now, you see my mouse here. But when I click again here in the middle, it disappears, but it's still in front when I find it anyhow here. But I don't want that it disappears all the time. And there is another way what we have, what we ha can do. After this one, we have now the mouse on our widget. Now we have to do one more thing. And this one means show mouse cursor. And you see this one works not here. That's that's the problem. This show mouse cursor, the thing, what I have here, that earns, you see, we can't call all nodes from this white line. We need a starting point where the option is available. And this one is only available with the pl uh, player controller. So that means we have to drag, uh, pull out this uh, blue node and write show mouse cursor and here it says set show mouse cursor and we set this and this one is a setter and we just connect and this one here and important is show mouse cursor here we have to say a tick which means yes show if you don't tick it's disabling it again later Perhaps you want to show it only a short period of time, depends, uh, depends on the game. And then you want not, and later you deselect it. So, but in our case, we select it, that's okay. Here, I want to show you one more thing. Let's comment this first out. This is all set up, this should work. Let's write, select all, press C on our keyboard, comment, and this one, uh, show and lock mouse on. UI, UI, let's work this one. And then I select again the color. I drag down this one. Here is all okay. This is okay. And when I compile, save, go here. You can you can start here as well. But I like all time this one a little bit more. And press, and you see now I click here around. I see the mouse. I go not in the game and I can here start and quit, but later we could program this one as well when we go on, but not in this video. But I want to show you something here interesting. You see, this one is a problem. You see this line goes through this node and it's hard to see or something like that. What you can make there is you can double click on the line and then you see a so-called reroute node and then you drag this here down but this looks also not good but you can still double click it again and then you have something like that then then there is another problem you see these lines are sometimes looking so and in many codes you see that it is it looks not good this is just a style question and there is a plugin which makes automatically nice lines or in our case we have not this plugin right now there is another way which is also very easy you select that what you want to straight line and in my case i press the q 
key on my keyboard and it automatically will straight this line. It builds all time as straight. How we solve this here, here you select perhaps all, select here and you see all will be straight. And here is sometimes a problem when you make this one, you see this one jumps down or up depends and now I have again a problem. I select here fast all Q and this one is anyway not on top. I can put it a little bit down or even here on the button, set it up. And then you have here nice lines as well. And the code looks a little bit more nice and readable. So that's set for that. Let's go on. What do we have to now this one works. This one works all fine. But here is the last thing uh, what I want to show. And that is uh, which I also not mentioned before. Uh, we have created a main menu. And when later the player starts this game, uh, he must be on this map, right? The problem is we have here different kind of maps. So let me go here on content, show levels. And we have here five. So how the hell we set this up that later the player starts with this main menu. And to do this, we go here on file. We go here to edit. Sorry, we go to edit and then here down to project settings. Click on this. The project settings is later important where we set many main things. This one is finished. We can click this away. So in project settings, we go to maps and mobs like maps. And yeah, the new uh, Unreal Engine 5 calls them levels, but maps is okay. And here we have just to set, we can set a default mode. We can, uh, that's not so important right now. More important is this one. And we have here the editor startup, ma uh, startup map. So if you want not all time search the map on which you are working on, you'll set the map which you want. In my case, I want the main menu because we are right now working on the main menu. Here is it. Then this one is just for you as a programmer, but this one is very important later when you ship. This one will be the screen what the player sees at start. And this one, careful, this must be set right. In our case, I want to see that the player, when he opens the application, he should see also the main menu, right? That's why we made this main menu map. And uh, one more note, you see here is no save button. This project settings saves automatically when you close it. And that's it. And when we go here to play, and I think I stop also with this one. And in the next video, we will go perhaps you style a little bit this map uh, because this plane looks a little bit like <laughs> not so. We play along, uh, around a little bit with lights and so on. A little bit styling before we go on with coding these buttons because there is also something where I have to mention, but not in this video. See you in the next. Bye.